Hey, what's happening? It's Paul Ingram with Collie Center. In today's training, you're gonna need a collie stick or a training bolo. Smash that thumbs up button if you like training collie. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel yet. Leave me a cool comment below so I can get back to you. Grab your gear and let's train. All right, for today's training, I'm gonna go ahead and teach the drills that we're working on with the training bolo and then I'll also flip over to the stick and uh, do some reps with the sticks so that way you can see it. Now in this lesson today, we're gonna be taking some basic uh, drills, some basic movements on the single weapon of Kali, but we're gonna be adding some footwork movement to it. So I want you to start, you know, not just being able to move your weapon around and not just being able to move your feet, but being able to get these two things to move together, what we call calibration. You gotta calibrate your footwork and your weapon to be able to navigate and move together. So let's take a look at the first drill. Very, very simple on the weapon. We're gonna keep everything very simple on the upper body. We're gonna go back into our one and twos. Basically, we're just striking, cutting down this big X right here. This is our angle one, downward diagonal on the forehand. Angle two, downward diagonal on the backhand. Okay, get these movements down first. Kinda just re-coordinate, re-dial in your basic one and two strikes. Okay. Now you start off with this full chamber like this, where you're touching your chamber position. Okay. Later on, right, then you can start to shorten up these strikes and all that, but we just teach the full arc in the very beginning. So let's take a look at how we can start incorporating some footwork on these diagonal strikes. Let's start off with some nice, basic, uh, circling footwork right here. So we're going to step forward on the angle one, and then we're going to step back to the left on the angle two. So in and back to the left. Forward and back to the left, just like this. Boom, boom. Okay, you don't have to worry about taking these huge, you know, monster steps. You can even take small steps. You wanna vary the distance, the pacing of the step that you might have to take, okay? Now, with all these drills, you can also train them in your left hand. You're just gonna mirror the footwork. So left foot's forward, stepping in, stepping back to the right. So you can work this right hand and left hand. Good idea to work it both and just coordinate both sides of the body. All right, drill number two, or Daloa, we're gonna go up the X this time. So we're gonna be striking up our angle three and then up our angle four. So our angle three goes up the X on the forehand side and our angle four goes up the X on the backhand side. So you're gonna notice that our odd numbers are forehand strikes and our even numbers are backhand strikes. Such a weird coincidence, right? So from here we have three and four and we're gonna pull these cuts, these slashes through, leading with the pinky, pull it, pull it, all right? Okay, get that weapon moving first. Yeah, you could even start to come high sometimes. You got high three and fours, and then you got these full, low, boom, threes and fours as well. Let's go ahead and add in the footwork. We're working in the exact same footwork. So we're gonna come in on that three and then out to the left on that four. In and out, in and out. Right there, bop, bop. Just start nice and easy like this. You can, again, you can change the uh, percentage or that pacing of your step, how big or how small the step, you can change that. Start slow like this. Okay. If you need to circle more aggressively, then you can start even stepping out on the 90 to the left. Okay, so you can kind of vary depending on how aggressive you got to get or you want to get 
with your footwork. Boom, get that three and four low, get low. Get low, cover the knee. You wanna make sure that that weapon, that you can get down low enough to protect that knee right there. Cover that knee coming in. Cover that knee getting out. Boom, right there. Bop, bop, right there. Again, you can also train this in your left hand, or if you're a left-hander, or you wanna train the left hand, just mirror image everything on the left side. Drill, tot low, or drill number three, is our high, low, high. This is where we're starting to work those horizontal strikes. So we're training diagonal strikes today, and we're training horizontal strikes today. So let's take a look at what we're doing with the upper body, and then we'll go ahead and uh, put in some of the footwork. So from here, we're striking that horizontal high strike right here. We're going all the way through. Then we're gonna go low, strike low to the leg, to the knee, and then that's gonna be a broken strike. So you're gonna notice how I'm striking right to that low target and then retracting the strike back to my left shoulder. And then we're gonna go high line, horizontal, all the way through again. So this drill's got three strikes to it. So we have high, low, high, which is why it's called high, low, high. All right, so again, we have our high horizontal slash, our low broken horizontal slash, and then our high backhand horizontal slash right here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so get that down, and then let's go ahead and put in some footwork. The footwork that we're gonna be using for a high, low, high is the forward triangle. So we're gonna be stepping across the base of the forward triangle with our forehand horizontal slash. Bop, right there. Then we're gonna duck low right here, hitting that bottom, and then step up on that forward triangle with that backhand horizontal high right there. All right, make sure that those feet are underneath the hips. We're stepping out 90 degrees across that base of the forward triangle. Duck low, bop, to hit that low one, and then you have the forward triangle step right there. We have our one, our two, and our three. One, two, three. One, two, so sometimes we just kind of stay right there. This would be more like a long range shot. And then sometimes we'll step in all the way up to the point of the triangle just like that. So train both variations so that way you can do both. All right, so we have one, two, three. One, two, three. Again, if you're training this on the left hand, just mirror everything, stepping to the right. Bop, 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 right there. Work out these three drills. Take it nice and slow. I know that they're kind of basic, but one of the biggest skills I see neglected being trained in Kali is the ability to sync up, to calibrate the weapon with the footwork and making your body and your weapon to operate as a single unit, which is what they're supposed to be doing. I see a lot of you know Filipino martial arts out there, they move the weapon all fast, they train a very little bit of footwork, Okay, but they, it's like everything is just all up here. And they forget to bring the two together. These are basic drills to start building that calibration, to get both working together. You know, when we're looking at the, uh, the true skill, the highest expression of Kali, 
this is the blade and you can only get hit one time with the blade and uh, if that happens I promise you you're probably not gonna like it so we have to be able to move we got to be able to maneuver our feet so do not neglect the footwork if you want to have high level skills in your collie now you got to make sure you're training your footwork but then you got to also make sure that you're able to put the two skills together all the weapon movements and also the footwork click the join button right below this video become a sponsor of our channel because I'm going to be doing a follow-up drill a mega drill that's what we just like to call them I think is you know kind of fun but we're gonna be putting all these drills together in one single combination drill for our sponsors here on the channel so make sure if you want to get that training click the join button right below become a sponsor of the channel so that way you can access that because it's going up like right after this video and if you want to continue your training with us here at Kali Center if you want to take your Kali to a whole nother level you want progressive step-by-step -step training in the way we train here at Kali Center and follow our curriculum head over to KaliCenter.com and check out our Kali Apex training course and jump into our Patreon training over at our Kali Center Patreon page. And then you can get one-on-one -on -one coaching with us as well. One-on-one -on -one video coaching no matter where you are in the world. So we can get your questions answered and we can you know, check, make sure all the techniques and everything is being performed precisely and accurately as they need to be. Right? It's the next best thing to training in person. So if you can't train in person, get into our Patreon so that way at least you can get more additional training that we have every single week on our Patreon. Plus you get access to that uh, private video coaching calls as well. Head on over to KaliCenter.com. Everything's over there. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me if you like training Kali. Smash that subscribe button. Leave me a cool comment below. And then get outside and make nature your training dojo. And I'll see you next time.